guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So a little earlier this week, I shared a typical fall morning skincare routine. And um, I told you guys that I would try to share an evening version as well. So that's what we're doing today. One thing I just want to clarify from the morning skincare routine is I did not show myself applying my SPF. I don't actually keep my SPF here in the bathroom. For whatever reason, I have always kept it in my filming room. Um, but rest assured, because I, I knew, as soon as I uploaded the video, I was like, oh shoot, I didn't say anything about SPF. So I did mention it in the description box, but I feel like most people probably don't look at the description box. So, But yes, I do put SPF on my face and my neck. Everything that is exposed to the sun gets SPF every single day. So, um, but I keep that SPF in uh, the other room where I keep my makeup and stuff. So anyway, just wanted to clarify, rest assured, there is an SPF that goes on my face. So um, anyway, let's get into the evening skincare routine. I will link everything in the description box below this video, just in case I forget to mention what I'm putting on. I will try to remember to verbalize it, but let's get into it. Okay, I already washed my face because uh, I figured I'd spare you guys that part, speed the process along here a little bit. I removed my makeup with my beloved pharmacy, a green, clean um, makeup melting, me brain fart. <laughs> makeup melt away cleansing balm. I love this stuff and almost, almost out. Looks like we gotta, I have to take a little trip to Sephora there. <laughs> need more of that um, and then I uh, I always do a double cleanse so I use the Foreo microfoam cleanser this bad boy right here with the uh, Foreo Luna 4 go device so I recently reviewed this I've been using it in place of my Clarisonic for the time being because um, I'm testing it out I love it I think it's fantastic and someday when my Clarisonic bites the dust or when I will eventually run out of the replacement brush heads then um, you know that's gonna be de my device I just I really have been enjoying that a lot and it's working fantastically for me so all right I'm gonna get started with my face first and then I will do my neck so first thing I'm gonna do is um, I like to use a hyaluronic acid serum before I put on my um, tretinoin so um, typically I will say I like to wait just a little bit longer in between applying products but because I'm doing this on camera I'm gonna go a little bit more like boom 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 but do know that typically it's best to give each product like a, a, at least a little bit of time to fully absorb before you put something else on top of it at least that seems to work best for me um you know if it works better for you to just pile them on if that's the only way you can do it to save time then certainly um you know whatever you can do for your skin do it i also put this on my neck so i'll be using a um a retinol on my neck because the tretinoin is far too potent <laughs> for my poor neck meat. Um, it's much more sensitive than the rhino hide that I have on my face. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. Um, I didn't mention this. This is the 111 Skin uh, Space Defense Bright Eye Lift Gel. So I use this in the morning routine as well. Uh, don't look up the price point of this. It's outrageous. This little tube that I have here came in a, um, it was a skin store collaboration with uh, 111 Skin. So, and I actually purchased two of those boxes myself. I received one as PR, and I loved the, uh, the eye cream so much that I bought like two more boxes just to get two more tubes of that because the full size is, I think it's like $190. It is outrageously priced. It's certainly not worth that, but I really like it as an eye cream for sure. And again, you don't need an eye cream, so. I do have both dogs here with me. Again, um, one's chewing on a bone and one is snoring because it's their bedtime, so um, they're kind of uh, 
slowing down here as well. I just actually got done with like an hour and 20 minute walk. I have to tell you guys, it felt so good. I am starting to get back into like really exercising a lot more. And when I do that, typically I like to ease into it with just like doing like some power walks. And um, it really helped me clear my head. Um, I, I could use some head clearing right now. So anyway, that was fantastic. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. Ooh, and I just got way too much out. <laughs> okay, you, you don't need this much. <laughs> This is my tretinoin. So this is the Retin-A 0.05%. Um, my brother actually picked me up uh, a couple tubes of this um, from Mexico the last time he went. So uh, I, I'm, I'm well stocked. However, I will have a really great deal coming up for you guys on uh, tretinoin, a prescription tretinoin. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I gotta get to the video. I'm really, I got some stuff going on right now. So I'm trying to just do as much as I can, but it's coming, I promise. So I like to kind of distribute this first and then work it into my skin. I think that tretinoin is really a game changer in terms of anti-aging. Um, I really found it made a huge difference. I always enjoyed the retinols on my face, but definitely the game was changed once I switched over to tretinoin on my face. It really um, sort of accelerated that like anti-aging process. Basically what I've noticed is it's just kind of like helped to slow the aging even more, um, better than I think the retinol did. I wish I could use it on my neck. I could probably get a lower strength and put that on my neck, but the retinol seems to work okay, so I'm just going with it for now. So I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute and then move on to my neck. So I am using the Pharmacy 1% uh, Vitamin A Retinol Serum. This is super, super gentle, you guys. Love this for my neck. Um, if I can put this on my neck, I feel like m most, like the vast majority of people could easily use this on their face. Obviously, make sure that you don't have like super, super sensitive skin, but I feel like people that have that type of skin definitely know <laughs> what they can and can't use. So always make sure you look at the ingredients, obviously. My skin really has a lot of texture right now. It's kind of driving me crazy. Um, I know why it's happening and it'll, it'll clear up, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of frustrated with it. But it is a journey. So just journey on, right? Anyway, okay, so um, pretty much that is where I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna top all of this off with the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. I'm actually gonna use this on my face and uh, my neck meat. So let's get a little bit out from my face. I have this massive blister on my finger here. The other day I was uh, curling Stella's hair for her and I'm super distracted right now and I grabbed like I was looking at her hair and I grabbed the curling iron like on the wrong end and uh, that turned into a real poop show, let me tell you. <laughs> I dropped it on the floor. I almost like dropped it on her foot. <laughs> oh my God, what a mess. Pay attention when you're using uh, heat styling devices, right? Anyway, uh, I really should have let um, 
I really should have let the tretinoin sit on here a little bit longer before doing this, but it's fine. We're going with it tonight. I'm using this essentially as a moisturizer um, for my skin type. It works pretty well for that. Um, but I noticed that when I use this in conjunction with my tretinoin, I tend to wake up with like really super smooth skin and I don't have any issues with um, like flaking or my skin getting super dry. I also think that the hyaluronic acid, putting that on first kind of helps with that as well. Okay, we're gonna get just a little bit more and we're gonna put that on my neck. And voila, that's it. That is gonna be my evening skincare routine. Um, there are other nights where I will use acids instead of the retinol, so I just kind of trade off. And there are some nights where I just use like hydrating products on my face and I don't use any tretinoin and I don't use any um, acids at all, so I, I kind of have a little schedule set for myself that seems to work quite well. Um, when I share any of these videos with you guys, please know I'm not telling you like this is the routine that you should be doing. I'm just kind of sharing what has worked for me. So maybe if you have a similar skin type to me, some of these products might work well for you, but I am in no way telling you that this is how you should be going about your skincare routine. So. I hope this is. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to take a look at the description box. Um, I will list and link everything down there. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Please subscribe if you are new. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.